So, Bill, do you want to start and mm -hmm. just tell me again? So this is just two to three minutes uninterrupted of how we ended up here today. We are here today because obviously Sarah and I cannot agree on the cost of the damages that she caused to my home. And I say my home because it is a home that I lived in for five years, uh, that I maintained, that I put together. Uh, I did a lot of work in it, and I, and I had the opportunity to move into a different housing arrangement and elected not to sell my home, but see if I could rent it. Uh, and so the, the home means a lot to me because it's, it was the first one that I ever owned. And so I took really good care of it, and I made sure that it was in good, just good working order when, uh, when I decided to lease it. And I was very particular about who I might lease to. Anyway, so Sarah and I uh, reached an agreement. She's been there for, what, a couple years, I believe, and she is moving on, and I understand there's no, no problem with that, <clears throat> no lease breaking or anything. It's just, uh, but when she moved in, we had agreed about some things uh, that have become now part of the costs of, of uh, what we're talking about. I had a, had a $1,200 deposit with uh, Sarah, and in addition to that, I, I am intending to keep that, and I have about another $600 uh, so that the total cost of everything involved that I feel Sarah is responsible for is about $1,800. And that's why we're here. Sarah didn't think that was fair. She wanted to go to court, and we talked about, well, let's try mediation, and so here we are, and that's what we're doing. So it's really a matter of uh, damages that were caused to the property above and beyond normal wear and tear, which is the clause in the, in the lease, uh, that, that we disagree about. And so that's kind of where we are. Um, when Sarah came on board, I kind of walked her through a lot of things that, that were particular to that home that would need to be paid attention to. Uh, Sarah indicated that she did have a dog. I had originally said no animals, no pets. Uh, goldfish would have worked, but that's it. So, um, but she talked to me about her about her dog, and, and I, like Sarah, felt that she was very responsible at the time, and so I let her bring her dog in, and I waived the, the dog deposit or pet deposit. So that's where we are. Great.